Hi, welcome to Willowbrook Apiarian Homestead. Happy bees, healthy honey, happy homesteading. Today, I got a phone call from my brother at Cuco Lake Apiaries, and he said that they just had a huge swarm move into one of their dead out hives, and they went into one of their apiaries and split 16 hives into 28, and that we are headed into an early swarm season. So today I am going in for a spring checkup and swarm prevention in the apiary. Join me. Getting ready to check on hive 2E. We've got the smoker going. We've put some in, giving it some time. And this hive is one of the hives where they Oh my goodness, I've been busy. It's one of the hives where I ended up adding some honey on the top at the end. And I had some frozen. In the freezer in a bag, that was a terrible idea. And I put this on hoping that they would grab the honey, bring it down into the hive. And I can see that they are building some silicone and we're gonna have some fixing to do because this was put on late in the winter. It slid apart, was not level the way it should be. And now we get to fix it. So we're just gonna gently make sure that's not glued down with propolis and it is not. I'm gonna try to drive them down. And then the fun part. <clears throat> so this should put us into the brood chamber. Put some smoke on there to continue to drive the bees down. We've got some guards. They're fanning the smoke out. some below. This is a nice young bee right here to see. You could tell because they're just real fuzzy, shiny. I think I really need to get my hands on... Oh man, they are jamming. I need to get my hands on a stand for this camera so I'll really have two hands free. They're bringing in pollen. I've seen it for days. They're bringing in nectar, I assume. And 
here building some wonky comb. Because that's what this particular hive likes to do. Sometimes you find one where it just seems like that's what they want to do, no matter what you try. I'm gonna reach in here and straighten that, my hive tool a little bit. Okay, we've got that one loose. You know, I'd be lying. If I said that you don't get a little nervous the first time you open up the hive in the spring. You still have some cleaning out to do here. Looking to see and not seeing whether or not they have fresh eggs in that frame. Don't see it. Not spending a ton of time looking. Gonna keep moving. Looking for eggs. Sign of a queen that made it. Looking for nectar and pollen coming in. Looking for capped brood. Looking for drone brood. I've got fresh nectar here. That is good. Nothing in that one, but some fresh nectar in this other side. Another frame with some wonkiness. And we are just, sorry girls, but you need to rebuild that. That I got lucky on, flipping it out like that. That does not happen. There we go, that one did not happen does not happen regularly. All right. Now, when they get nervous, sorry about the plane overhead. When they get nervous, they release a pheromone that smells a bit like banana or when they're getting ready to attack. Anytime you smell banana, you want some smoke or sugar water or whatever method you're using. But if you're smelling bananas, you need to slow down because they are telling you they are not happy. You're not gonna be happy in a second. They are jamming this one with nectar and pollen. Sorry, I'm looking over the camera. Trying to get a view of what's going on here. They are active. Taking advantage of this spring day. Now it really doesn't surprise me the phone call I got from my brother because we've had a week of rain. You know what they say, when the bees get bored in the spring, they get swarming. So hopefully, I've had enough going on in my apiary, enough room, enough stuff going on that they are not thinking swarm yet. But I need to evaluate, you know, three frames I just pulled out and they're not really too crazy packed with bees or supplies. I'm just evaluating as I go through how much room this hive needs and whether or not as a survivor hive I can split it. Started out with 10 hives going into the winter and I came out with two. Not very great. Even though this is a fairly light frame I'm seeing spotty drone brood some good pattern uh, in the middle. I'm not seeing anything like swarm cells. Not seeing anything. There's some fresh eggs, larva. So three days ago I had a queen in here. 
That's all eggs tell me. But if I can find the queen, that tells me a lot more. And if I do not find queen cells, then I have no worries. No queen cells, no swarm cells, no swarm. 20% or more of the frames in drone brood, they have decided they're swarming. Most likely. And as of yet, I'm not seeing that on this top box of brood. This was a hive. If you remember, I was wondering whether or not I would be able to save this hive. It was a weak hive. I had two weak hives. I did a newspaper combine at the end of the year. Going into fall, I said either they'll kill each other and die or they won't and they might make it through the winter or I leave them the way they are and they probably both die. So I took my chances with a newspaper combine. One of the queens would have made it, one of the queens would have not, or maybe it only had one queen, I can't remember. So I would kind of like to see the queen. just to get an idea of what we've got going on in here. It's not necessary, I don't have to see the queen. I've seen the eggs and no swarm cells. I am gonna keep moving. I don't want any one frame out too long. With it being the brood chamber. From what I'm seeing in this top box, it would be premature to split. Not really getting the smoke out of there that I would like to be getting. This is my bigger hive of the hives that made it. So, if I can get through this one without seeing signs of swarm, I'll probably call it a night. I'm losing light. I'm going to pause this video and pick it back up in a little bit. So I've got free hands to get this done quicker. Okay, I made it through both boxes without spotting the queen specifically. But I did not have a queen excluder between the brood and the honey, as this was added late in the year. And there are eggs and brood down here. And what I ended up doing was reversing the top and bottom. I bottom supered. I took the top and I moved the bottom, the bottom to the top. Give them empty frames above to keep working. And now I'm looking at this mess. Um, and I think what I'm gonna be doing up here is I'm just gonna take this and harvest. Once they've got honey and nectar coming in, I've been told they don't really use the honey. They just store it for the following year, which they're not gonna need. The only thing to watch for is that I do not bring the queen over here. So I've got this empty super sitting here. We're going to move the honey frames over to that empty super. And oh, that frame cracked. That one's going to get retired. Interesting. 
if you've ever had experience with that happening before, where a plastic frame itself cracked, uh, leave a comment below, in the links below. And, well, I guess it wouldn't be the links, would it? It'd be the comment section. But you know, you know what to do. If you've ever had that happen before, leave a comment. I would love to know if that's happened to anybody else. I do want to be getting rid of these plastic frames anyway. So now I am just checking. This one's gonna be heavy. Just, oh my. Let me pack that one. Checking for queen. Don't see the queen, I move them and Loud is not happy. Of course, hot smoke can make them loud and not happy too. There are lots of things that can make a hive of bees not happy. I would like to not be one of them. So we're just gonna set the camera down. You guys hopefully will have a great view. I'm gonna check for the queen. In the absence of queen, the frame gets moved. Over to the honey super. The bees. The bees should, sorry about that, go back to their own hive. And we can say this hive is not prepared to swarm. Not because I'm taking the honey off but because I didn't find any swarm cells. And I did find eggs. I did find about the amount of bees I would expect to find. Look at that frame. Beautiful. I'm not seeing the queen here. Willowbrook Apiaries and Homesteading. Happy bees, healthy honey. God bless.